So Channel 11's Mike Holden is live this morning at the Holiday Market in Market Square. And Mike, the square, it's a lifeline for a lot of businesses, the holiday market, but it's shutting down today. Catherine and Jen, good morning to you. This is a community holiday staple. Every which way you turn down here, things are decorated from the light post right here with the ribbon and the bows to the market back here, as well as the tree and the ice rink. You have to consider the runoff though and the impact, not only for these businesses and vendors, but also for the bars and restaurants nearby. They say they are extremely concerned about what will happen next, but there is this level of understanding that what is in place is for the greater good and the safety and well-being of everyone. Now the People's Gas Holiday Market and Santa Zoom Experience are closing tonight. This also includes the Merry Market pop-up. In total, 35 business owners who have vendor booths down here are impacted by the closure. These businesses had planned to have spots in the market up until December 23rd. And we talked about that ripple effect. Well, the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank is also taking a hit. They were set to be on the receiving end of funds raised from the Santa Zoom experience. Governor Wolf and Dr. Levine say the statewide order was necessary as COVID-19 cases continue to surge and they had to do this to protect all Pennsylvanians. But you have to be safe and they're saying that the, this is the way to spread it. I guess we all just have to take it and sit down and deal with it for a while. It's the best decision for the group. And the market again opens at 11 o'clock this morning and closes tonight at 930. We can't say this is enough. This is a final day for all of this. And you know, Mike, the holiday market's a really big deal for these vendors. It gives them kind of a chance to get their products, their face, their name out to people who maybe don't usually shop them. So how can we help them out? And you talk with these vendors, they make triple, quadruple the normal amount just from having booths down here. They invested a lot of time and energy. They're saying you can get their stuff online. Go to downtownpittsburgh.com. We also have that website posted on WPXI.com. Thanks, Mike. Thank you so much.